is Guillaume at Zuzan Cha Tea Channel. And today we're going to be trying King of Duck Shit Aroma Dansang Oolong Tea. That's right. Very and, interesting name. Yes, well, I guess that name I believe because uh, it's the, 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 there's, there are ducks that uh, go through the tea plantations eating the bugs and they leave a lot of droppings behind, and which is why. Uh, it's called that, and it's not because it actually smells like that. Um, and here is the oolong tea. Now, oolong tea is uh, it's between green and, and, and a dark tea. Uh, so it's, just, it's oxidized a little more than green tea and uh, beaten up a little more than green tea uh, when, they're, when they're doing all the process and the rolling and the like of it. Um, but so far, we're, right now we're warming up all the cups. Look at an interesting aroma or smell to it. I'm getting it like maybe an earthy. Earthy. I think maybe like, maybe a little sweet possibly. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, I'll do opinion number one here. All right. And then uh, warm up our cups. And this is Bob, our tea pet. As usual, Bob is here. Uh, I'm going to uh, let this kind of steam for a moment inside of there. Let it breathe. Um, this tea we got from uh, Yunnan Sourcing. Uh, they use some pretty good stuff. This was a spring 2021. Um, so this just a sheer. We've had some of these types of teas before. Mm -hmm. uh, let's give it a little rinse. Not just the oolong type, but like with a similar name. Uh -huh. But this one is king of them all, apparently. So let's try. I'm curious how this one's gonna taste. Because yeah. this is it, it. Pretty much is claiming to be the king of all of them. All right. So I mean, is it worth just getting into this one? Hmm. Well, what do you think? Did the drama open up at all? I'm getting different notes from the dry leaves, but I feel like the the scent is getting weaker. Like off okay. weaker. Right. Well. All right, so we're, we're going to be doing this at about 195 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to go for a few seconds there. I'm in our warming up water. So here comes our first infusion. And you don't want your tea to steam up too much or keep cooking while uh, after you pour it. So this is the first infusion. Pretty light. So I'm not ever, never, rarely expecting a whole lot on the first infusion. I'm getting some earthy and maybe even some salt, slightly saltiness. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I'm getting Salty. some like right underneath my tongue, like my skin. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a second one of right these, maybe. Like the salt to taste a little extra. Salty taste, yeah. Interesting. Move this top out of the way. No longer need that. 
We're going to move Bob to our second position as we're going to our second infusion. It's either the tea or new saliva being formed in my mouth. Either one. But I haven't really experienced it. Like new saliva tasting salty. Tasting it probably is the tea. Because it feels like it's rushing out from like underneath my tongue and mm. then coming up and then on my lips. It's like really? Mm. I'm no. also getting these like earthy notes on top of this. Okay. Earthy, kind of woody ish notes. I actually kind of like that coffee. Alright, we're we'll going in for infusion number two. A little darker. some aroma with this. Okay. I'm recording, I'm recording a YouTube video, by the way. What? I'm recording a video right now. Definitely getting, I'm getting some that minerality. Hmm. I'm getting like slight woody earth notes. And then you're like in the back of it. Hmm. <laughs> Even though that it has those notes, I actually kind of enjoy this one. Even though I generally don't like bitterness, that might be anyone else's cup of tea or letter. <laughs> For infusion number three. Actually, I think that's a sip of this. I'm just writing down the scores every infusion. Mm -hmm. What I think that, like, out of ten of how much I like it. Right. So far, it's been a seven and about a seven. I think it's maybe decreasing, so I could go down seven again. Yeah. I'm trying to get some more, I guess, as far as feeling in the mouth, you know, I'm, I'm, the, 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 the tip of my tongue and the, on the top of it and, and the kind of the front of the mouth uh, getting some uh, feelings from the tea there I'm getting some in the back of my throat I get that yeah. this is the most in front, front frontal action here for me the only feeling that I'm really getting in the, on, my, on the tip of my tongue is knowing that my tongue is going to be slightly burnt after this oh come on it's, it only lasts for like a few hours after that it dissipates but the heat of the tea, like initially just hitting it ever so slightly, does it. So, I think this, this third infusion is much, much darker, I think. And every time I have tea, and as long as I'm having tea consistently, it get I, the time gets lower and lower, and I build up more of a resistance to it. Mm -hmm. to hmm. the tea. Getting some sweet notes on this one. Mm, definitely. But I'm still getting those mineral notes in kind of like the back of my throat. Yeah, I'm getting the mineral in the front. I'd say the sweetness here is kind of along the lines of, um, well, maybe molasses. What's molasses? Like the cane syrup, except it's a little heavier. Yeah, I'd say that that's a pretty accurate description. Mm. This is definitely like a very thick, juicy. Yeah, I think thick, thick and juicy is a good, good uh, word for that. Did you want a little more? Yes, please. Give that a rest. I'm looking 
before it has a fourth confusion. This is very interesting. Well, I kind of learned that kind of move, but I think I'm going to try this time moving the T more around my mouth. Okay. Because I noticed that if I have the T mainly in the front of my mouth, then I get the flavor, certain flavors in the front, and certain ones in the back. But if I have it in the back, then I sense certain ones in the front, and certain ones in the back. So I'm going to try and move it around. Yeah. And then I'll be able to like pinpoint where they're actually at. Last cup wasn't quite as good because, no? well, well, the last part of that wasn't quite as good because of the little leaf bits. Oh, you got some leaf bits in there? Yeah, the itty bitty ones. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's do heat the water up a little bit. It's interesting how they always make it less, like the tea is less enjoyable on having these itty bitty leaf bits. In it. That's I because those itty bitty leaf bits keep on exuding out chemicals from the tea when they're just kind of done. I know, but like, if, if, if I sip part of it separate, like, if I just sip the, um, my brain is starting to fail me. Okay, there we go. I think I have my words back in my head. If I start to sip the tea, mm -hmm. it's mainly just the part that I sip last out of ah. that cup. Well, it's because also the, the, uh, they are the, the chemicals. Well, the chemicals, yeah, well, but they're also, you know, they're, because the leaves are on the bottom, that's where it's leaching out at the, as it, towards the bottom. So when you get towards that bottom, towards the part, it's going to do that. And I guess also you do get a few bits when you're sucking up your tea, no matter how hard you try not to. The pain of drinking tea. <laughs> I can't say I had much pain in drinking tea. It's so, that's like the only thing that's ever so slightly like. You don't want any, You don't want any like in your in your pot. You don't want water sitting at the bottom where because you'll get what she's talking about in your tea. It'll, it'll keep on seeping out and it's and not going to get the same flavor. And they're going to keep. I can't remember what they're called. Dang rabbit! I've been doing research on tea flavor. Well, oh, there's tannins and phenols and other kind of stuff here. I'm talking about the sit. Sapatonins or something like that? Saturn. I've been researching this. I should know this. I've been doing mm. research oh, on this. Oh, this is so much. This is really a lot sweeter, this one. Mm. This one smells like in 7.5. Like this. Mm. So there. Yeah. Tastes like this. Yeah, that just, that's just good. Because this is like a 9. Mm -hmm. yeah, Although it does good. have a bit more of a stringency than the last one did. Hmm. Barely, at least, at least on me, you know. In the back of my throat, I'm kind of getting like stringency. <sighs> Definitely, more, more of my tongue is now becoming alive, and it's um. Thank you, because I don't get all the little bits that I'm just. In the front. Bob likes the little bits. I don't like the little bits. <sighs> Bob doesn't mind the little bits. I do. <laughs> Bob gets the little bits there. Mm, that is a yeah. That that fourth infusion is really so much better. Uh, I wish that I had the power. Flavor. I wish I had yeah. your power of not getting the stringency because that would be so much even more enjoyable. I just don't. I just don't have too much of stringency in this one. Well, more dryness. Like it's like it's. It's really the difference because after I swallow it, then I start getting the stringency like going through my tongue down to like this part of my throat. Yeah, like the very back of the mouth, and that kind of stops. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Would you consider that dryness or a stringency? Uh, well, it could be a dryness. String stringency is usually more of like a bitter. Alright, so this is the fifth infusion. There we go. Yeah, I guess I would consider that more dry. I wrote that down on my sheet. That was, the flavor mm. was a good nine for me, personally. Mm. Mm. 
universe in there, but it was dry. Mm. That's getting even sweeter. Yeah. Maybe like a honey? Could be honey for you. I mean, it's still more along the lines of molasses, but it could be honey. Yeah. Maybe a bit of a fruity. I'm not sure. It's just Only. like a it's your tongue, you know, so. I know, but that doesn't mean we can't discuss her flavors, because we're probably, some of the flavors we're tasting are probably the same. Yeah. And it helps to discuss to help pinpoint what you're kind of thinking of. Because mm. when I aerate it, then I start getting that honey thing, so maybe you should try aerating it a bit more. Mm. Of a floral note there. I'm not, um, About the same color yeah. as the last time. Yeah, I get the cup that has more. From my perspective, my cup looks like it has more of the tea in it. Mm. I feel like that one was hotter. You know, I, I think I think I might I might um, agree with you on the honey now. So it's definitely more of a honey note on this one. Maybe that's oh, that might be where you're kind of getting the floral. Maybe a slight floral note with molasses that could have been mm. like, like a light honey, oh. kind of a little more of like molasses in there. Yeah. Hmm. I was tilting my hand and I spilled one drop and I'm like, man, that was so close to getting on my paper. And then a second <laughs> drop, like, I'm like, yes, mm. God's character. I don't intentionally spill still, the tea on it. Still have a bit of a dry. Um. It's not as, um, it's not uh, making my tongue in the front of my mouth tingle as much as the uh, earlier ones. I maybe, because now I'm starting to get, like, I don't know what kind of sweetness it is on the very tip, like, the rest of it's kind of like maybe a light honey, but it's not like very heavy honey, you know what I mean? Hmm. It's very sweet, but it's not very heavy of a honey. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? A light honey? Because there are different degrees of honey, I feel like. Yeah. And I feel like this is not more on the light spectrum, but there's just a lot of it. But it's still remaining light. Like, the flavor of it's light, but like, it's um, compared to, like, a very dark honey, it's a light. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I think that's the best I can describe this. Yeah. King of all of its kind. Yeah. This one's gonna be uh, a little bit lighter color now. I think I'm getting like Probably a only get about eight or nine. I'm wondering if I'm getting like a slight sugar cane. Like cane sugar cane. Yeah, I, I just don't get sugar cane. But I do get honey. Oh, yeah, now I'm getting honey. Like it's starting to cover more. Before it wasn't really covering my mouth. 
Now it's really covering my mouth. It's like starting to coat. Yeah. Might have a light raisin taste to it. Maybe. But I've been since I've had a raisin. I go very well with dairy. <laughs> it's getting sweeter. This is the eighth infusion, so we're getting close to the end. <sighs> Alrighty. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, never mind. It's there. Flies when you're having fun. Mm -hmm. I only feel fun when I'm having tea. Whether I don't like the whether I don't like the tea or I love the tea, time still flies. This is definitely much, much, much lighter. So yeah, we're getting we're getting close to the end here, folks. Oh yeah, that dropped. I did use I did use uh, 3.5 grams of tea when making this. About a hundred mil milliliters. Ooh, that's a strong sweet. That's a very strong sweet flavor. Mm. Okay, I think that is honey. I'm convinced now that it's honey. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure before because it was like the light honey. It wasn't moving towards the dark position or the medium. Mm -hmm. It was more normal. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's there. It definitely has that, you know, towards that honey end there. Most of the other earlier flavors are gone, but it is the eighth infusion, so I think this is going to be it. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you enjoy receiving these uh, reviews of different teas, uh, please hit the like button uh, so you know when we're doing one of these. Uh, hit the subscribe button. There it is. <laughs> Just a like thumb. There you go. <laughs> All right, so low tech. Well, blessings on your day, and uh, we'll hope to see you again. Just remember, it's always a good time for a cup of tea. Yep.